What's up guys, Chase fan number 9 here, and this will be my first video on NASCAR Authentics. Um, this will be called the NASCAR Authentics Die Cash Review. It's basically going to be a series where we take a look at the die cash from the NASCAR Authentics line, and from here I give my thoughts and opinions on them. Um, could have started this a while back, but hey, it's better late than never. Um, but yeah, and if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and feel free to comment and make sure to smash that like button too as well. So yeah, yeah, I've been thinking about doing this series for a while now. It's kind of like the way I did my paint scheme preview videos, but. Um, this time it's on diecast or upcoming diecast, I should say. So yeah. But anyways, um, without further ado, um, let's take a look at the diecast we got, shall we? I find it funny that a couple weeks ago we got um wave nine release, and now we have wave ten. And I gotta tell you, this wave ten's pretty interesting. As you guys can see, it's mostly attributed to the Darlington throwbacks for Cup and Xfinity, so, yeah. We're going to go from top to bottom, from left to right, to be exact, and that's how it will go. But anyways, let's take a look at the car. kind of tired, but anyways, here we go. So, first car we got up is Alex Bowman's number 88 Exalta Tim Richmond throwback. Um, to be honest with you, I'm actually glad they're doing this car. Um, I feel like we needed this car in this wave, and that's pretty much all I can say. But for the car, I'm glad they're doing this. Um, I do like the paint scheme. I do like the red and the gold going together. So, um... So, yeah. Yeah, I do like this car. Um, I do like how it's coming with the hood, too. And the hood looks pretty nice as well. Um, yeah, if you, I'll bet Danny B will be looking for this die cast if he, he's a fan of it. Um, I've been a fan of Alex Bowman's Exalted cars. I'm not saying the nationwide paint scheme was bad. So, the nationwide paint scheme is actually good. Don't get me wrong. So, yeah. But anyways, um, I'm glad they are doing this car. Um, I don't really mind, and don't really mind the color that much. And yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say about it. Yeah, sometimes it's hard for me to um say some stuff, so I apologize if I if some of the stuff I say doesn't sound correct. But yeah, like let's just say no one's perfect. Yeah. Now this next diecast. Now I know what you people are thinking. I know 9/11 was three months ago, the um, anniversary of it. And but I gotta tell you though, I'm pretty surprised they did a diecast for um, this one. I'm not sure why, but I guess they're trying to promote it or something. But it's supposed to promote the 9/11 Memorial and Museum. But um, it's a pretty interesting car. I do like, however, I like how the American flag goes from the hood all all the way to the back. Um, I remember I didn't watch a lot of NASCAR in 2011, but remember when Kyle Busch drove that paint scheme in the last in the second Richmond race? It was an all American flag covered paint scheme, nothing else. It's kind of similar to this, but if you look closely, it looks like it's a Chevrolet Camaro body. So, so yeah. But um, to be honest with you, I know 9/11's late, but um, I'm glad they're making this diecast to not only promote the memorial and museum, but also to remember the victims. Seriously though, guys, I wonder what the 9/11 what the families of 9-11 will think about this. Serious, I'm like, seriously though, what do you, what do they think about this? I mean, it looks pretty cool. <coughs> um, 
you know, if I were to, col I will definitely be looking for this die cast, and it would be it would be kind of fitting that I did this on um nine eleven next next year I should say, but yeah, it's a pretty cool die cast. I like it. Now this next die cast, I'm very aware that they have not done a Joey Logano car yet in the NASCAR Authentics wave for 2019 until now. Now, I know some people are not happy that they, they didn't do his primary scheme or any of his schemes, but it's about. But I'm glad they're doing his Shell Pennzoil Darlington throwback here. It's actually a great addition to this lineup, actually, when, if you, now that you think about it. Um, for those that are wondering, um, this is a throwback to Kevin Harvick's um, 2007 paint scheme, which was on his car when he won the Daytona 500. And from what I heard, actually, this is true. As a matter of fact, Kevin Harvick's 2007 Daytona 500 win was his only win in 2007. And after that, he went winless up until Talladega in 2010, except for winning the All-Star Race that year, so yeah. But um, overall, this is a pretty cool um, car to add to this line. For those who are looking for a Logano car to add to their collection, um, this car will be a great addition, especially if you want to collect all the Darlington throwback schemes. I know they're not only doing certain ones, but this one, I highly suggest it. Now the hood, um, I'm not sure about the hood, um, I mean they could have made his name like the same way it is on the name rail of the car, but, um, I don't mind really the signature, actually, but, actually, you know what, I, I think it's good, no, now i about it, I think the name should be bigger, but, hey, that's NASCAR, thanks for you, I do like, however, the whole hood design, it reminds me of, some reason this hood reminds me of Lightning McQueen for some reason, but that's just me. But anyways, um, yeah. So I'm, but now that I think about it, um, I'm glad they're doing a Joey Logano die cast. I know it's not the primary scheme, but hey, if you guys want the throwbacks, there it is for you. So yeah. I know people have said this already, but you know what I find ironic between Dale Jarrett and number thirty-two. Car and Corey LaJoy's Darlington throwback is that they ironically both drove the same car. No, that's not what I'm trying. They both had the same number. I'm like, I kind of found that surprising when I saw the picture and the um, comparison. So, yeah. But the thing is, I'm glad they're doing a Corey LaJoy die cast <coughs> for this line. Um, it's been a while since we've gotten a Corey LaJoy um, car, um, but hey, Bear Light the Never. I believe they did one a while back when he was with BK Racing. I, I, don't, I, th I don't think that sounds correct, but if they did, I do remember it. But um, yeah, yeah, I believe they did, but I, I'm, I could be, that could be incorrect. So yeah. But anyways, um, overall, cool car. I do love the blue and the white. Um, he had um crunch on his car, the ch that chewy, crunchy candy. I actually like that one when they when I last had it. But they're pretty. But anyways, um, it's a nice car. Um, it's another Ford in this lineup. I do like the hood. Um, I do like how the names in full um font like that where you can see his name. Um, I do like the packaging. Um, I don't have much. I don't see anything wrong with the car. It's just it's just so good. Now I know some people don't like Corey LaJoy, but you might as well get this car to add to your collection. I do have actually two Corey LaJoy die casts with me. In my collection um i have is um bk racing car the primary one the um the dustless blasting car to be specific this was during um bk racing's downfall and also his um, bubble burger car that he ran in the coke 600 um i have yeah i never thought i'd get his thing 
those two cards, but I managed to do so. But anyways, um, yeah, overall, I'm glad they're doing this car. I'll definitely be looking for this one and the 911 car, so, yeah. And that's pretty much all I have to say about it, so yeah. Um, next up, we have Michael Nett's number one Baby Ruth throwback um, Camaro. Um, what do I think about it? Um, to be honest with you, I'm actually glad they're doing a Michael Nett um, car. This is the other car I'll be looking for in this wave. Um, this is a throwback to, for those that don't know, this is a throwback to Jeff Gordon's, um, to Jeff Gordon's early days in NASCAR. I think this is from the Bush series, or Xfinity series, I should say. And this is a pretty damn good paint scheme. Let me... Yeah. Yeah. This is um one of the more interesting cars this way and surprisingly that was um Jeff Gordon's car number back in the day, um number one. Um I do like the number fun and for the Michael Nets Daytona car that they did a couple waves ago, I'm well aware that the font up top looks similar to Jamie McMurray's um, number, even though the font on Michael Nett's car looked um, different. I was I'm well aware that this time they got it right. If you look closely, and I believe you can click on the image here. No, no, I don't think you can click on the image here. Maybe on if you have a phone, maybe, but here I don't think so. But, um, yeah, I'm glad they got the number right this time. I mean, there was nothing wrong with when they did it for the Daytona car because it's basically his car. Number. I think it was just the font that people were kind of eh about. <coughs> Overall, that's pretty much all I have to say. I mean, yeah, I don't... Now I look at it, I really much don't mind it, really. It's a pretty decent paint scheme. Maybe they'll have some more in the next wave after this, so, yeah. By the way, um, this wave, this wave of Darlington cards was announced today, um, so go, oh, feel free to check that out on Lino Racing's YouTube channel, and we can go from there. Anyways, um, next up is Jimmy Johnson's 2019 Ally Throwback paint scheme. Um, to be honest with you, at first, when I first saw this, I'm like, to be honest with you, they didn't have to do a Jimmy Johnson car, but now that I think about it, um, I'm actually glad they're doing, um, doing this, um, um, overall, decent paint scheme, he did have a shot to win the race, but unfortunately got caught in a wreck that wasn't his fault, which, but, this is what it is, at least he came back to finish the race. But, but overall, um, I do love um the paint paint scheme. This is a throwback to his days when he was in um when he during his early days when he was driving those those that truck thing. I forgot what it's called, but um. But um yeah, overall I'm glad they're doing this. I do love the hood design. It would've been bad, good if they add Jimmy Johnson's like um signature on the front, like how he does his autographs. Um, but I to also, I don't mind this really. Actually, I under I see why they're doing it. They're trying to make it match the hood, which I can get in the crib. But I think it'd be better if they add Johnson's signature. I do love the purple here, by the way. It looks pretty cool. Taking a look at the die cast, I do like how the number on top is black. Um, I do also love the red, white, and darkish purple. I like how that I like that color combination. Um, and that's pretty much it. I do love how they put ally there, and I like how it's in white because if they put it in any other color, like this purple, for example, I don't think that would go together. But yeah, so overall. Great die cast. I wish they had Johnson's signature on the hood, so. 
So yeah. So yeah. But anyways, um next up we have Chase Elliott's number nine Napa throwback. Um to be honest with you, um I'm actually I'm not sure about this one. To be honest with you, I don't think they really had to do this in my personal opinion, but but if you're unfortunate unfortunate to not get it because um they sold out, um I think this would be a last resort. But overall, to be honest with you, now that I saw it on track, I'm not sure about the paint scheme. I wasn't really a big fan of it, but I understand why Chase Elliott did it. It's a throwback to his father. And I do like how the hood matches the top and I like how they add the number nine and Chase Elliott game on the bottom, which you if you take a look closely here, but um yeah, I'm not sure about this one. But it's a pretty interesting paint scheme. I'm not I'm not saying I hate it, so um so yeah. So yeah, it's a pretty interesting one for sure, even though I'm not really sure about it, but um, I think it's well done. So um, yeah, it's a pretty interesting car. I wish it had more details and it would be look a lot better, but yeah, it's not it's not one of my I don't think this will be one of my favorite die um paint schemes. So um so yeah, um not not really a big fan of it. I mean if you're a Chase Out fan and didn't get a chance to get this, um um this will be great for your collection, but i this will not be one of my favorites, so yeah. It's not one of my favorites of this line, so yeah. Next up, Eric Almirola's 2019 Smithfield throwback. You know, I would just want to say something about the Stuart Haas cars this year. Their Darlington throwbacks, the 10, 14, 41, those had to be one of my favorites. I know Harvick's was different because it, it, he had bush beer, but the 10, 14, 41, their throwback paint schemes, oh my gosh. Um, I'm not sure which one was my favorite. Personally, my favorite because they were all my favorites, considering that they were all throwbacks to Tony Stewart. So yeah, they were a throwback to Tony Stewart, um, to his three champions. Eric Almirola's was to Tony Stewart's 2002 title. Daniel Suarez's 2005 title, and Clint Boyer his last title, 2011. I'm gonna say this right now. My mom, guys, was a huge fan of Tony Stewart, or, and we were there when he won at Sonoma, just to let you guys know. And after Smoke retired, my mom now roots for Kurt Busch. But she, and also, she does root for the other people like Chase and Jimmy Johnson, all those guys. But yeah, Tony Stewart, Tony Stewart was my mom's favorite driver, okay? To be honest with you, it would have been cool if they add... Added um, all three of the Stuart Haas cars, the 10, 14, 41. But starting off with Eric Amarola, I don't think it's a bad choice. I mean, I mean this is a pretty cool, but yeah. Starting off with um, him first um, was a good choice. Um, I do like the orange on it. Um, well, when Tony Stewart was racing with Gibbs, he was sponsored by Home Depot. But, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, I do like the orange, white, and the black. Um, I do, you know, it'd been kind of weird if they made the number on top white. Um, I mean black, but white, white fits, fits the spot. I also do love the hood. I know it's not accurate to what the actual hood shows on the car, but I do love the, 
however the art design on it and I do love the placement of the number and his name so yeah I, I like it this will be this will be one for me to collect so um yeah and also I'm well aware that they're also doing a liquid color and also can I just say something guys I've been to Walmart for been going to Walmart every time to search for diecast can I, may I ask why I haven't seen any liquid colored cars at um, my local retailers of Walmart? Because I have no idea why. And also, guys, there are no Meyer stores n near where I live. So, yeah. Actually, I don't think there's a Meyer store here in California at all. So, yeah. I don't know what's up with that. I know some people have sold sold um, these online. But, um, I'm not, I'm not sure what's going on, but, um, if, I hope one of these days I can find one eventually, and if I can, I'll be, if I even get one, that will be fine with me. Now, I know what you're thinking, guys. Chase fan number nine, didn't you, do, when you were doing your Dale Jr. review on those 187 cars, that one was liquid color die cast. No, I want a 164 liquid color die cast, so. Yeah, so yeah, I I don't know why they they don't um why they didn't um don't sell some at the Walmart or the Target, which where I also get my diecast from um. But if they do, and if I missed out, then just let me know. Okay, so yeah. Now this last diecast here, I know most of these are throwback paint schemes, but I gotta tell you something. It's this has been a long time coming. I'm, I've been looking for a Ross Chastain diecast for a while, and it looks like I'm about to get one. This, out of all the trucks I've reviewed in my collection, I do not have a Chevrolet diecast from any of the Chevrolet drivers in the truck series. Well, guys, it looks like Ross Chastain is about to become my first one. This is his 2019 True North Paul Jr. Designs. Um, Kansas race win truck um, from earlier this year back in May and just want to say I'm glad they're doing a Ross Chastain diecast for this collection thank God and as you can see just like most race win cars um, he does come with a race winner card and um, yeah um, taking a look at the die cast, um, I do love the, um, confetti on it. It makes the car look nice. Um, I do love the paint scheme. Now, keep in mind, this win came before he declared points for trucks, just to let you folks know. So, yeah. I mean, you know, it would be cool, it would be cool if they sold, um, his, all three of his race win trucks as die cast for this line. So. Yeah, I mean, I know they. I'm well aware that they sell his on the official website of Lino Racing, but um, all three for the NASCAR Athletics line will be a pretty good one there. Um, so yeah, the only reason why he won this race was because of a f mistake by Stuart Friesen and his team not fueling up all the way. So yeah, overall, um, I'm I'm actually glad they're doing once again a Ross Chastain truck because. I mean, they could have done it in the other ways, but doing it now, um, um, I really don't mind it, so, yeah. And, I do love how they put the, the sponsor logos on the, um, hood. So, yeah. And also, I do like the green spoiler. I mean... If, if you look closely, I want, it would be cool if the wheels were painted green to match the car number, with the exception of the one, the number on the roof being black, but I really don't mind the white wheels, even though most of the truck is painted white, but, yeah, I mean, green's fine, but I think, now that I think about it, um, I think the white would go well, since most of the truck is in painted white so yeah and for michael net too if you take a look at his um paint scheme um it, i wouldn't mind the wheels being painted white too 
and for Eric Amarola, orange or white wheels, um, those, um, I wouldn't mind either, so, yeah. And same with the, uh, um, for Logano's car and Corey LeJoy's. LeJoy's, I, I don't mind the silver, really. Logano, it'd been cool if they painted, if the rims were, um, red, but, um, but, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure about, yeah, I don't like how the wheels on Logano's car are black. I mean, they could paint it. It, like I said, another color like um, red or maybe even yellow if they want to, but black I don't think will be my type, so yeah. And I think that will do it for this video. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure to hit that like button down below and to get, hit the bell to get notifications for all my videos. This has been Chase Fan number 9 here. Make sure to look for these diecasts at your local retailers. And with that, I will see you guys all in the next video. And until then, have a good one. And also, lastly, have a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year as well. Thank you guys, and I'll see you all soon. All right. Bye, everyone.